let me introduce myself. My name is, um, is Algonda Lagrange, and I am director for digital solutions at Dress Around. And uh, we part of, of course, of the Siemens business. And today, I'd like to introduce you to Topsides 4.0 which is our digital solution for oil and gas production. We will look at the challenges that the digital tools in Top Sites 4.0 will help our customers address. We will look at the value that these tools deliver for our customers, and then we will end with a case study where we have actually followed the Top Sites 4.0 approach. Now, I think whether we like it or not, we have to accept that low oil prices are here to stay. And as an industry, we will all have to adjust to that. Now, over the past couple of years, the industry has been really good at taking costs out of the existing supply chain. But we are now at the point where we need to go beyond cost competition and look at what we have to do differently to address the underlying business challenges. And I don't have to tell you what those challenges are. I'm sure you are tackling them every day. But you know that you need to reduce the cycle time of your projects and the capex just to get them over the hurdle of the final investment decision. And then once that's done, you need to make sure that you lower the OPEX so that you can protect your profitability. Well, the good news is that Topsides 4.0 was designed to address all of these challenges. And what Topsides 4.0 is, is our digital lifecycle approach to rotating equipment and to automation, electrical and control systems on a top sites facility. All of that underpinned by secure communications. Now, how do we deliver these benefits that I've talked about just a minute ago? Well, we do it by developing what we call an intelligent digital twin. But what does that mean? I mean, you've walked around here. I'm sure you have heard a lot about digital twins for the last two days. But I'd like to make this quite practical. Well, it starts during the concept and the feed phase, where we work together with our clients to jointly optimize the design of the process plus the high capital cost rotating equipment so that we can optimize the design of the facility. And we've developed configurators for that that embeds best practice engineering knowledge and that can then automatically generate design documents like your 3D, 3D drawings, your wiring diagrams, your bills of materials. And we are able to save at least 30% in the engineering cycle using these tools. And the fact that you can do that a lot more quickly means you can evaluate many more design cases so that you can pick the most cost-effective one. We have similar savings that we generate on the electrical and instrumentation and control side by using embedded templates there as well. So this theme of, of savings carries through through the control system and the automation as well. Now, another item that's important during the design phase is an area that our clients have told us they really, really lose sleep over, and that is the integration of all the different third-party packages on the top sides into an integrated automation system. And we, we mitigate that risk by natively embedding or integrating all of the different package control systems into the overall ICSS, or Integrated Control and Safety System, and we design that for remote control and remote monitoring. So during the, the concept and feed phase, we already start to generate a lot of data, and we use a consistent data hub to organize and to collect all of that data, which is then further deepened during the detailed design phase. And because we have all of this data available, we then use it for digital fabrication and virtual commissioning. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, a good example is, for example, that we use the engineering tools on our automation system to automatically download the configuration of our control system in the controller hardware and at the same time create a virtual emulation of the control system 
that you can then combine with your process models for virtual commissioning. So you can test all of your startup procedures, your configuration of the control system, your safety system, all of that before you physically set a foot on the top size facility. And by the time your operators start to operate the real plant, they will already have run through that exercise multiple times on the virtual plant, and they will know exactly what they need to do. Now, all of this comes together during the operate and maintain phase. Here, we add to the engineering real-time and historical data, and we also provide automated analytics that's not dependent on any specific vendor and that gets automatically generated when you configure your control system as well. And the lessons that you learn during the operate and maintain phase then gets fed back into the concept and the design digital twins for ongoing improvement. Now, having all of this data in a data hub, that's one thing, but how do you as a client then use it and how do you gain benefit from it? So for an intelligent digital twin, there are really four components that you need. First of all, you need the process twin, which is a virtual representation of both the process and the control system and how they interact with each other so that you can be sure that whatever action you take on the process simulator will accurately predict what will happen in the plan. So as I said before, you can use it for startup testing, for commissioning, training, and you also use it during the life cycle of the process to run what-if scenarios. So that is then the control system and the process itself. But you also need a digital twin of the plant, a 3D representation of your entire facility that you can navigate through, but not just navigate, you can also get contextual data that is relevant to you. So if you, for example, click on a pump, you are able to see the engineering data, the real-time operational data, and the maintenance data related to that. So you use that for your field operator training. And if you have a platform that is mostly demand, of course, this is of critical importance so that your guys can get onto the platform do the maintenance that they need to do, and then move off again. In addition to the process twin and the plant twin, you also need intelligent monitoring and analytics so that you can see what the condition of your process and of your plant is. And then in cases where you need real in-depth understanding, that is where your OEM services come into play. And here, the OEM can then access the data and they can provide you with predictive analytics and advice on what you need to do to resolve whatever issues you are picking up on your facility. Now, in future, Siemens Minds here will be the single portion through which you can interact with all of this. But the message I'd like you to take away is that we can develop this digital twin today. This is not some future vision. This is a deliverable that we can, can generate as a standard product deliverable today if we can engage with you from the concept phase working on your project. Now, what does this all mean for our clients? This is all good and well to, to show the good things that technology can deliver. But we've developed some real savings on real projects, and I'm giving you some examples of that here. And this is with what we can deliver today. There's still a lot that we can add in the future, and I'm sure that, that we will we'll see still huge strides going forward as we, as we enrich the capability that we have on offer. But we said before we can reduce cycle time, capex, and opex. And you'll see here some real examples where we've been able to save the customers cycle time by using our design standards rather than having to comply with a very detailed set of designs that were issued by, by the client. We can shorten the engineering phase with our configurators, as I've already said, and faster time to first oil by using the tools for digital commissioning and by virtually training our control room operators and our field operators. 
On the CAPEX side, there is also significant benefits if we can work together with our customers to optimize the design right from the word go. And because we design it for reduced on, um, offshore staffing, you can of course gain by reducing the size of your accommodation facilities. When it comes to reducing OPEX, I think that is where we see the biggest benefit. And that is primarily because we can have fewer people on the facility itself, and because we can monitor the performance of the process and of the equipment real time, and we can warn as the performance start to degrade so that, so that the operators can proactively take action to, to mitigate that, and in the worst case, go through a planned shutdown rather than an unplanned shutdown. And we've actually done this before. This is not just, this is not just me speaking to PowerPoints here. And this is an example of a case study where we have used the top sites 4.0 approach. We worked on the EVA Arson field development and we went live last year on Christmas Eve on the 24th of December. And we were able to reach steady operation within one week. And I don't know about you guys, but I think that's, that's very unusual in North Seas to reach steady operations that quickly. And we were also able to do that with far fewer resources on the facility. And we went live with a fully integrated solution, including the condition monitoring right from the word go, which, which meant that we were able to, to take quite a number of people offshore. And the project was so successful that earlier this year, Acre BP entered into a collaboration frame agreement with Siemens to continue providing them with automation systems on their future field developments. And we are in fact starting to work with them on the next project now. We've also been engaged by them to enter into a study to further demand the facility with the intent of finally reaching a fully unmanned platform. Now, that is something we are still working on, and I hope that by the next event this year, we will be able to report out on that. So I think the three main messages I would like all of you to take away from this is that we can deliver benefits from digitalization with Top Sites 4.0 today. There's much more that can be delivered in future, but you don't have to wait for the future, and you don't have to wait for digitalization to become something more concrete. It's ready now, and we can work with you now. The second main point is that if, if you engage with a digital partner from the concept fees of the project, the way we deliver projects become different, and you, in fact, get these digital solutions at a very minimal incremental cost on top of your standard project cost. And as you've seen, the benefits that you get in exchange for that is huge. So engage with partners upfront so that they can work with you to deliver this. Of course, we can do it as an add-on, but that takes a lot more effort and a lot more engineering time. So doing it from the start, that's the best choice. And the third message is digitalization is not, it's not a once-off procurement decision. I don't think any one of us can predict how digitalization will impact our world into the future. It's made a significant impact now. And the important thing is that you need to team up with companies that will be able to take this journey with you. So make that choice and make it wisely. And I look forward to being here next year again and telling you the, the results that we have achieved since today. Thank you. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.